Hey everybody, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in, and for those of you who haven't visited the channel, welcome to x Rides Cars. Today, we'll go ahead and take a look at this 2005 Mercedes-Benz E200 Compressor. So this will be a full take on the E200. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust scope, and go over the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects in both the interior as well as the exterior. And so, without further ado, Let's go ahead and get started. The exterior color is known as Iridium Silver Metallic, featuring a full black leather interior with real walnut wood trim. The E-Class comes standard with speed-sensitive, hydraulic-assist rack and pinion power steering on a four-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel with multifunction controls between the top and bottom spokes. The E-Class comes with a 7-speed automatic gearbox with manual shifting on the shifter. And so, go ahead and flip on the automatic headlights, as well as the hazards. All four windows are fully automatic. So we'll go and check out the exterior, shall we? The original vehicle of this class was the 170, and it was produced from 1933 to 1936 with about 17,000 units produced, all of which were made in Stuttgart in Germany. After that came the W136, which over 150,000 units were made, which equaled to about 70,000 prior to World War II and 80,000 after those times. 1953 came the Mercedes-Benz W120, which technically started as the E-Class series, and in 1956, the W121 came. Often referred to as pontons, the pair were the mainstay of Mercedes' lineup during their production runs. Together with the more luxurious and somewhat larger 2.2-liter inline-six, Mercedes-Benz W128, they constituted 80% of Mercedes-Benz population between 1953 and 59. Next came the W110, replacing the W120, as the first series came in 1961, and in 1965 came the second series. In 1968, replacing the W110 came the W114 which was in production for eight years and nearly two million of those have been built. There was also related W116 for the time. The W123 after that had sold more than 2.6 million cars. Next came the W124, which is when E-Class got its name. In 1984, the vehicle started production and in 1993, the name became E-Class. It was produced as the E-Class until 1995, when the W210 came out. 
The W210 was produced from 1995 to 2003 and also was the very first AMG E-Class and it was the E36 AMG which only 49 units were made. The W211 E-Class seen here was revealed at the 2002 Brussels Motor Show and the design of the W211 E-Class was evolved the lines of its predecessor while maintaining a distinctive twin headlight that initiated the W210 design trend when it first arrived in 1995. In that new design, the twin headlight had been angled back slightly. The 2002 E-Class was larger than any of its predecessors while managing to offer less interior space, particularly in the estate version, than the W210 it replaced. It offered gasoline or diesel engines with a choice of four or rear wheel drive. Mercedes-Benz claimed to have reduced the fuel consumption of the new E-Class by up to 9 liters per 100 kilometers compared with the outgoing model, though the official figures for some models were worse than the predecessor. The onboard computer of the W211 was more accurate than that of the W210 as it took account into stationary periods. Consequently, the W211 showed consumption of 7 to 10 miles per gallon worse. In fact, the cars used roughly the same amount of fuel. The redesigned 2002 model set new standards in areas of the vehicle's safety, comfort, and handling dynamics, including electrohydraulic braking system, sensitronic brake control, which is standard equipment in the E Class, as well as the multi contour seat and aromatic DC or dual control air suspension system. The multi-contour seat adapts to the current driving situation while the air suspension uses microelectronics to control both springing and damping. Aromatic was standard equipment on the top of the range E500 V8 car and was available as an option to all other E-Class models. The W211 is a more complex car than its predecessor and arguably better engineered with a programmable serial bus and many automated systems of which the driver will not usually be aware. This was consistent with the Mercedes-Benz cultures of continual improvement and passive safety. The adaptive suspension and gearbox settings combined to make the car noticeably tottered when driven at speed on country roads. As beneficial as that is for the driver, it also comes at the cost of passenger comfort. The E55 AMG was unveiled in September 2002 at the Paris Motor Show. It debuted as the fastest production car in the world. The E55 was also offered in an estate version for later years. The E55 is powered by the M113 engine from the ML55, which is a 5.4 liter V8 with a Lisholm type super supercharger. The E55's engine was supposed to be rated at 476 PS or 469 horsepower with 700 newton meters of torque or 520 pound feet. The reality is actually that the E55 was tuned to 500 PS or 490 horsepower. From the factory is just the S55 AMG. The 469 horsepower was just for the marketing strategy to differentiate the more S55 from the E55. Only the SL55 is more power due to a larger throttle body. There was a facelift on later on with extra features and a new E63 with a naturally aspirated engine and then a W212 and now in this present day a W213 which that does have extra quality features but still the W211 is quite a well known vehicle in the market today. As far as your exterior features, you have a full medallion sticking out like most Mercedes Benzes. You also got a full chrome grill. Projector daytime running lights, including turn signals, black wheels with the red ring around it, molded guards around the sides with some chrome trim, chrome trim on the door handles. You got a Brabus badge and compressor badge because it's an E230 compressor, full supercharged four cylinder engine. This E200 comes with 16-inch, 13-spoke black wheels with a red ring running on 225-55 tires. You also get four-wheel disc brakes with anti-locking, electronic brake distribution, as well as brake assist. The E200 comes with both front and rear independent multi-link suspensions with anti-roll bars, quail springs, and gas pressurized shock absorbers.
This vehicle has a length of 190.3 inches with a width of 71.3 inches and a height of 57 inches running on a 112.4 inch wheelbase. Curb weight can be about 36-35 pounds. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood. The E200 Compressor comes standard with a 1.8 liter 16 valve supercharged inline 4 cylinder engine. It produces 181 horsepower at 5500 rpm and 180 pound feet of torque at 3500 rpm. 0 to 100 kilometers an hour or 0 to 62 miles an hour is rated at 9 seconds with a top speed limited to 147 miles an hour. The car is rear wheel drive and it has a 17.2 gallon tank requiring 91 octane petrol fuel. EPA estimated miles per gallon ratings are 20 city and 37 highway. Open up the compressor and you have multiple interior features including your power windows, locks and mirrors. You've also got your seat controls right here. This is also pretty neat. Left and all that good stuff. So we'll go ahead and shut her up. Nice solid panels. Well, I have no device to demonstrate it, but this does come with the standard audio system Mercedes-Benz offers, so it's pretty decent. You've got vanity mirrors. They are illuminated. Reading lights. Other controls as well. You've got your dual zone climate control. Fan speed. Front defrost. Rear defrost. All those essentials. And of course your radio with your CD player. Hazard switch. Rear sunshade control. Of course, it's quite nice. You've got a little storage pocket right here. Also, you have storage right here with two with a 12 volt power outlet, which there's a USB adapter in there. Apparently, you've got, of course, your shifter for your five speed automatic transmission, which I believe is now seven speed. It's probably still five speed because it's 2007. Of course, you have sport mode, shifter, drive, and when you pull this part up, both levers right here for the center console, you get this whole console, and when you just pull this one up, that's when you get one console, and then this one you get the other larger console, which is really unique. That's one thing about the old E-classes, which the new ones don't have. As far as your steering wheel, you have just strip computers and other things like that. And you also have telephone controls and indicators, cruise control. And also, when you pull it down slightly, it does it three times in terms of lane changes. It's really cool how that all works. Now, you also have your headlight controls and your parking brake, which of course you pull this to deactivate the brake, and you push in the brake to activate. Once again, demonstra I'll demonstrate right here. Alrighty. We'll go ahead and shut her down. So we'll go ahead and check out the rest of it, shall we? Open the back seat. It's pretty decent. Well, of course you got a good amount of legroom. 12 volt power outlet and pocket. And of course, a mini center console. Which of course is a very neat feature.
The E200 does have a decent amount of cargo space. You do get a total of 15.9 cubic feet, which is good for its class. You obviously can fold the storage, the rear seats, to get some extra storage overall in your cargo space. storage pocket, and your full glove box. The E-Class is a very unique vehicle. It's one of the very Mercedes-Benz's very first vehicles to ever come out in history, and overall, the E-Class still is a very well-known vehicle today. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video of this 2005 Mercedes-Benz E200 Compressor. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where all this came from, and be sure to subscribe today and check out all the future content coming to X-Rides Cars. Take care, everybody.